Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Yami here, and in this video, I will be discussing what if the Tournament of Power was a deathmatch? Alright, so first things first, for simplicity's sake, I'm saying that the teams won't change, meaning that everybody who attended the tournament will still be in the tournament. Uh, the second thing I want to mention is, I will only be talking about the unaliving of, uh, of important characters, like the head honchos of each universe, example, Ribriand from Universe 2, Anilaza from Universe 3. Uh, I guess, like, you know, for the other universes that have multiple characters, like Universe 6, 7, 9, and, and 11, I'll talk about them. Uh, and the third thing is, since there can't be elimination through ring out, the edge of the stage uh, will be surrounded by a dome, meaning that uh, it's a fight to the death, right? Okay. Oh, and the last thing is, I will, the format of this video will be different compared to my other videos, which typically are, I guess, discussions. But yeah, with that being said, uh, let's get right into the topic. In Goku and Vegeta's battle against the trio of danger, three wolves would meet their end to a final Kamehameha. Up next, after Krillin's swift victory against Majora of Universe 4, a death beam would pierce through the short warrior's heart, ending him instantly, killed by the frost demon, Frost. Not long after, in an attempt to avenge her husband, Android 18 would tear Frost limb from limb in a moment of anger. Sometime after this event, Kale would seemingly lose her mind due to Goku's words and would go on a rampage, raising hell and painting the tournament of power red with the blood of her fallen enemies. Unfortunately for her, Jiren would put a stop to this, killing her instantly. Kaba would have to keep Khalifa under control, stopping her from throwing her life away against the Titan of Universe 11. Ribrianne's life, however, would come to a screeching halt when she encounters the Prince of All Saiyans. Thanks to him, the true enemy of this arc has been defeated. After Universe 7's failed spirit bomb, Ultra Instinct Goku is born and is defeated by Jiren, but manages to survive to fight another day. Next, Dispo comes face to face with the assassin of Universe 6 and after a tough battle, Hit manages to land a powerful blow against the speedster, permanently stopping him in his tracks. The death of Dispo causes the leader of the Pride Troopers to fight against Hit. Fortunately for Topo, Hit has deemed him a threat to the survival of his universe and eliminates him before any other shenanigans can pursue. With two of their strongest warriors down, Universe 11 is only down to one warrior that could win this for them. From this point on, a lot of Universe 7's warriors would still be alive. Tien's battle against the Sniper of Universe 2 would end in victory for the Cyclops. And seeing as Frost has already been killed, this means that Master Roshi is still in the midst of battle with his team. Back with Universe 6, Hit has challenged Jiren to a battle to the death in hopes of defeating the supposing foe. Just like before, Hit proves that he is not bound by time and crushes Hit's time skip, ending his life in a single mighty punch. The blood of Universe 6 continues to spill as Frieza takes out his hatred for the Saiyans on Kaba. Multiple death beams puncture through the young warrior's body and Frieza leaves Kaba lifeless. Now with no one to fuse with, Khalifa's back would be against the wall. However, she still challenges Goku to a fight. Luckily for her, Goku decides to spare her for now. With Universe 7 having more fighters than they originally had, their fight against Anilaza ends without any casualties, as the Dragon Team defeats the Bio Robot with much more ease. This leaves all of Universe 7, excluding Krellin, Khalifa from Universe 6, and Jiren from Universe 11. Khalifa aligns herself with Team Universe 7 in hopes of taking down Jiren the Grey and avenging her fallen comrade. Out the gate, Jiren powers up revealing some of his concealed strength looking to make short work against the universe with the most blood on their hands. In return, Universe 7's warriors unleash their power. Goku and Vegeta in their blue form, Frieza in his golden form, Gohan unleashing his potential, Master Roshi with his max power, and the rest of the Dragon Team not looking to hold back in this fight. Alongside them is a Super Saiyan 2 Kale. Goku, Vegeta, Frieza, Gohan, and Android 17 close the distance between themselves and their foe. As for the rest of the Z Fighters, they stay back and unleash a flurry of key attacks, looking to distract Jiren in order to let their heavy hitters deal some damage. However, without breaking a sweat, Jiren the Grey shows why he's the mortal who surpassed the gods. The warriors who engaged Jiren in close combat easily fell with little effort. Jiren dodges, blocks, and counters their strongest blows, and returns them tenfold, crushing them with his might. 
The key attacks from the rest of the Z fighters reflect off of Jiren without the Titan even putting up his guard. He scoffs at their attempts at trying. Jiren knows that he could end this at any moment, but wishes to see the power that Goku displayed earlier, so he amuses them a little longer. As the fight continues, Vegeta unlocks his Super Saiyan Blue evolution form, and Goku unleashes his Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 20 but even with these, Universe 7 doesn't make a dent. In a last ditch effort to take Jiren down, the Z fighters power up their most powerful attacks looking to end this once and for all. Goku and Master Roshi charge up their Kamehameha's. Gohan and Piccolo use their special beam cannons. Vegeta uses his final flash, Frieza his death ball, Tien his tri-beam cannon, and as for Khalifa 17 and 18, they concentrate all their ki into one attack and they all unleash this upon Jiren, reducing half of the stage to rubble. When the smoke clears, Jiren stands unscathed. However, he is extremely, extremely annoyed. Frieza berates Jiren with insults, and within a split second, Jiren appears before Frieza and impales his arm through the tyrant's stomach. The Emperor coughs up blood and tries to throw a punch, but Jiren catches it and with that same hand unleashed a blast that eviscerated the tyrant. The rest of the Z fighters are in shock at how fast he dealt a killing blow to one of their strongest warriors. Jiren immediately turns his sights on Goku, looking to push him to his limits. However, 17 and 18 distract Jiren, holding him off using their barriers. Jiren has a tough time trying to land any killing blows against the androids because of this. Piccolo shakes his fears and yells at Goku and Vegeta, telling them that they need to fuse. At this moment, Goku quickly explains that they don't have the Patara and teaching Vegeta the fusion dance would take too long. Khalifa overhears this and lets them know about the earring that her and Kale had. She hands the earring to Goku, and while the androids are, were distracting Jiren, Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, and Khalifa would go look for the other earring. Back with the other Z fighters, both the androids are on the defensive as Jiren tries to get his hands on them out of sheer annoyance. He eventually catches up in corner 17 at the edge of the ring and throws a powerful punch that gets blocked by 17's barrier. Punches continue to rain down and cracks begin to form as 17 struggles to hold Jiren back. 18 and Tien jump in trying to stop him. He turns around and is blinded by a solar flare from Tien. 17 uses this chance to encase Jiren in a barrier and begins to charge up a sacrificial move. Jiren grabs 17 by the neck and slams the android into the ground. He then stomps down on 17's chest. 17 gasps for air. Jiren raises his hands to the android face and eliminates him with a powerful blast. Android 18 cries out for her brother. Tears fill her eyes as she recklessly charges in with a flying kick. Jiren catches her leg midair and smashes her into the ground and charges up another attack, ending her instantly. Tien falls to his knees in terror when this happens, but before the titan can get his hands on the cyclops, a bright light emits from somewhere on the stage and a strong key is felt. Jiren makes his way over there. Standing before him was a Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. Jiren and Vegito exchange a few words and a mighty battle ensues. Jiren pushes Vegito to his limits. Backed into a corner, Vegito stacks Kaioken times 20 on top of Blue Evolution and begins to push back seemingly making a dent in Jiren's defense. The Titan powers up even more, matching the fused warrior's strength and the fight rages on. Vegito puts everything he has into one punch, knocking Jiren down and drawing blood. After this, the fusion begins to charge up a final Kamehameha. However, before he could, the fusion ends prematurely. Both Vegeta and Goku are surprised by this. Jiren takes advantage, closing the distance between him and the Saiyans. He appears before Vegeta and releases an attack that eliminates the prince. Gohan, Goku, and Piccolo yell out Vegeta's name, shocked that the prince was just taken out. Goku grits his teeth and his rage begins to build up. Jiren waits to see if the power from earlier would appear again. However, Goku's power only increased due to his rage. Jiren begins to beat down on the Saiyan, and the rest of the Z fighters try to stop him, but it's all in vain as he crushes through their defenses. After a quick and brutal beatdown, Jiren grabs the Saiyan by the neck and raises him to his feet, ready to finish off Son Goku. Tien and Piccolo interfere once again, Tien using another solar flare, and Piccolo stretching his arm around Jiren. Gohan and Khalifa charge up a powerful key attack and blast Jiren while he's distracted, but this does nothing. Jiren drops Goku and uses Piccolo's arms like a rope, 
pulling the Namekian towards him. Jiren extends his hand, blasting a hole through Piccolo. He goes to finish him off but is interrupted by Khalifa and Tien once again, and he turns his attention towards them, not looking to waste any more time. Jiren punches Tien through a pile of rocks, knocking him unconscious, and releases a blast so strong that it eliminates Khalifa. While this is happening, Gohan holds on to his master and longtime friend. Tears fall from his eyes as he sees the state that he's in. Gohan calls out Piccolo's name over and over, telling him that it's gonna be okay. Piccolo coughs up blood and tells Gohan to look deep within himself and unleash his power. Jiren walks up trying to finish off the two, but a white beam of light emits from Goku's body and the same warrior stands up again, only this time an Ultra Instinct Omen. Jiren turns his attention to the Saiyan and approaches him. A great battle ensues. As this fight was going on, Gohan continued to stay by Piccolo's side trying to keep him from dying, but his efforts are in vain as the Namekian eventually falls silent. Anger and sadness fills the young Saiyan's heart as he watched his mentor die in his arms. Anger within himself because he was too weak to protect the ones he cared about. And in a rage, Gohan released his potential, tapping into Final Gohan. Both Jiren and UI Goku stop and watch in astonishment as Gohan emerges as a completely different fighter. Gohan rushes Jiren and begins to battle against him. Goku joins suit and the duo overpowers the brute with little to no effort. Jiren, furious, releases all of his power and throws a large key spear looking to take the rest of Universe 7 with him. Goku and Gohan stand side by side with their backs towards each other and they charge up and fire a father-son Kamehameha that pushes the key sphere back at Jiren, eliminating him, securing the victory for Universe 7, putting an end to this scenario. And uh, that is the end of the video. That was uh, my take on what if the Tournament of Power was a death match. Originally, before the movie came out, I would have said that Jiren would have won. But after seeing how Gohan didn't train at all and unlocked a, you know, a brand new form out of nowhere that surpassed uh, Moro Saga Goku, quote unquote, or even, you know, an even stronger Goku than that, it made me realize that no matter which way this would have went, they pretty much would have won. I think the only way they would have won, it, or the only way they would have lost is if Jiren would have taken out Goku and Gohan at the very beginning but yeah um, that being said that's the end of the video uh, thank you to any and everybody that watched this video I uh, hope you have a good day peace peace deuce deuce